Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. The topic of discussion today, astronomy. You mean like when Mars is in retrograde and I'm having a life crisis? No, no, that's astrology. What other planets are doing has nothing to do with your life. In astronomy, we study things that happen mostly outside the Earth's atmosphere, which frankly is a lot of stuff. What I want to focus on in this video is the stuff that everyone should know. The stuff that should be basic knowledge to all human beings. This mainly consists of what things are called. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine when people use these words incorrectly. It makes me want to explode! I'm going to show you these things in order from smallest to largest. First, asteroids, comets, meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. I put all these together because they're all basically the same thing. It's the leftover junk from when the solar system was made. They're all composed almost entirely of iron, nickel, and cobalt, and they usually have very irregular shapes. What we usually call asteroids range anywhere from the size of a semi-truck to the size of Mount Everest. Comets are just asteroids with a layer of ice on the outside. So nothing special. As for meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites, astronomers are just getting ridiculous at this point. Meteoroids are just asteroids smaller than trucks. Meteors are just what we call meteoroids as they're entering Earth's atmosphere. And meteorites are just meteors if they happen to touch the ground. There's no reason to have all these names. They're all just asteroids. A planet, on the other hand, is a little more difficult to define. In fact, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, took a crack at it back in 2006. But when you have that many people from that many different places trying to agree on something, no one leaves happy. Their decision resulted in the following definition. A planet is an object orbiting the sun that is large enough to be both spherical and to have cleared out other objects of comparable size from its orbit. The short version? They decided our solar system had eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Bye-bye, Pluto, and good riddance. You never really belonged anyway. Bring on the hate comments. At the center of our solar system, you'll find the sun, which is one of a great many stars. Wait, the sun is a star? Yep, and a rather small one at that. It isn't called a yellow dwarf for nothing. In fact, compared to some other stars, you can barely see it. Be grateful, though. If it wasn't small, we wouldn't be here. Stars are really big balls of plasma, or perhaps a miasma of incandescent plasma. The sun isn't on fire. It is fire. Well, sort of. And its temperature of about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit determines its color, yellowish white. The sun might be small for a star, but it's still huge. In this picture of the sun, this blue dot over here shows the size of the Earth for comparison. You can fit a little over a hundred Earths across its diameter. Huge! Okay, so the biggest mix-up I see people have is between star systems and galaxies. A star system is a small collection of asteroids, planets, and stars. Our solar system is an example of this, containing eight planets, a bunch of asteroids, and a single star. Having a single star isn't very common, though. Combinations of two or three stars appear the most. And in the last 20 years or so, we've discovered that tons of stars have orbiting planets. Planets are turning out to be extremely common. Are you excited? I'm excited. Galaxies, on the other hand, are huge collections of star systems. What's that? I lost you? Okay, so here's our star system, the solar system. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here's the galaxy. These things are really big. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is about 100,000 light years across. That means it takes light 100,000 years to cross from one side to the other. You can even have smaller galaxies orbiting larger ones. We have two major orbiters called the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds. Unfortunately, when an average person says galaxy, they're probably talking about a star system. Even Nintendo messed this up, calling one of their games Mario Galaxy. But then I guess Mario Star System wouldn't have sounded as cool. Anyway, stop saying it wrong! So were you happy with the decision to demote Pluto? Let us know in the comments with some details. Hate comments appear! And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.